Hey everyone, this is Roscoe, and welcome to part 10 of the LP of Mobile Suit Gundam UC. The last thing I have to show you is custom cast mode. Now, there is a DLC list which includes um, a few things you can download for free as well, paid. A few of them are free, like the two mobile suits at the bottom you saw. The uh, Delta Plus Gundam, which automatically comes here. The laboratory is where you can buy mobile suits. Or people or ships. As you can see, there's a bunch of different types of mobile suits. There's the Rizel, the Unicorn. Certain mobile suits come with extra weapons or certain different types of armor. Ooh, I can buy this. Yeah. As you can see, there's a bunch of mobile suits. Um, at first, it's going to be pretty much lot. Uh, uh, it's actually the entire thing is unlock as you go. Um, as you can see, there's Angelo Sniper. Uh, there's. I forgot what it's called. Um, and here you can buy weapons. Now, when it says DLC next to it, that means it's something you downloaded. Uh, the first one is the first DLC you see right there is comes with the Delta Plus Gundam It's automatically with the game You unlock these as you go obviously Some of them were free for me also Warships You have the Nahel Argama, a Musai a, uh, There's everything here god I forget there's also characters, Banazer, Riddy, a uh, few characters we see once in a while. Fa more characters with more of a face obviously cost more, with a name I should say. Yeah, full frontal. Custom cast mode is fun because you can have an entire team of people who disagree with one another, but have to work together to achieve a common goal. Now you're probably noticing under the picture there's specs and things like that. Like up to here, we're starting at Minerva and going down is only ship people. People that can only be used as ship. And to use a ship, you need a captain. So buy the captain first, then buy the ship. <laughs> now you're noticing that they have certain stats and skills. Um, these increase certain things like higher, more people that cost more obviously uh, have better stats off the bat. There's emblems you can buy. Air Federation, Special Forces, Xeon, Neo Xeon, Londo Bell, Anaheim Electronics. It's really cool. Now, that's in. You can also do out to sell. Tuning is where you can tune your mobile suits, your pilots, and other things. Oh, God damn it! I think I show it off too. Yeah, there we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Nope. Okay. This is all I can power up with the things Vulcans. It's fully powered up, but it's still missing ammunition. And when, um, you, this is where you tune your mobile suits, your pilots, your weapons. This one in particular is mobile suits, obviously. Now there are two types of tuning. You can tune the ones that use in custom cast mode, and there, there are some um, that you only tune for specific use in unicorn mode which is the single player campaign we played up to this point. Same thing with pilots, it's all basic. How, this is how do, how well they can aim, how well their basic control is, their step control. I think that's um, their step out, like how they can move away from enemies, dash control and fuel control. Yes, fuel control is one of the most important, obviously. So back to the stats, this is the character I use right now at this point. When you start off, you're going to start off with a basic uh, Jigen if you didn't download the Delta Plus Gundam. Uh, the Delta Gundam, the gold version which you see in the background. I can't even power up the freaking rifle. Which is what I need. Yeah, there are different types of weapons. You can use a... Uh, there's galleries for mobile suits, weapons, warships, the movies, the main credits, the DLC credits. There's also an options where you can, for the game, the controls. You know, I don't screw around with this because everything, it's weird, but 
the command options to get to here are plain as C English, but when you click on it, it's Japanese unless you know B BGM. Sound effects, voices. Yeah, I quit and canceled. I didn't care. Menu BGM. Now, what's fun is that just like another Century Episode R, if you have um, if you have music saved on your PS3, you can put it on during game mode or anything, so you can listen to your own music. Which I think is what I should have done for the last part, considering I've got a third party strike. Eh, whatever. You know, it's also listen to music, um, things like that. This is very basic understanding of the title screen. So let's get to custom cast mode. Now I'm only going to do mission one, route one and two, one. Uh, this is my team for the time being. You're going to have to grind a lot in custom cast mode in order to get further down. And the further, the more missions you do, the um, more options there are to go. What I mean is that this one only has two options. Option two, first mission and how well you do, leaves you option one or two, the top or bottom. But then you have other branching passes all the way to... To like six, seven, and it really gets harder, and the missions get a lot more complicated. Right now, I have obviously I'm piling the Gundam, the Delta Plus. Or I think this is just the Delta Gundam. And I have two wingmen as Rizel, and you saw reserve. I had a pilot from the. Oh, fuck. I missed. When you do that, sometimes, like I said, it is an instant kill move, especially in custom cast mode when you get a lot more powerful mobile suits and weapons than the opponent, and if you power them up like full like I have. Now, okay, time to explain the screen here. In your top right corner is your mission time, how much time you have to beat the mission. Under that is the mission achievement. The more the better the more you fill that bar, the more likely you're going to get the better ending. Or don't let the bar get too filled or something. On the right side of the screen, uh, under where my character's talking right now, is the health of your teammates, the health of your and the health of your ship. And the rest of the screen is pretty much the base like in one, like in uniform mode. Uh, there's the your, your health, your fuel, your radar, your armor points, your swords, your weapon ammo, everything is pretty much the same on the screen. Nope. Ah. I'm trying to really do that, but I don't think I ever succeed. Yeah, I don't even... Oh, I missed him. But I think I hit his friend. Now, when it's targeted red like that, it is a dead-on shot. Okay, when that happens, um, you can target your friend with the with the target system and actually heal them. Ah, oh, shit! The boss. Is Come on, where are you, buddy? Now, as you can see, I'm targeting my friend, and I healed him. I think this works both ways to a certain degree. You get a certain amount of HP back, too. There's the boss. There he is. Yeah, this is pretty easy, but at first, if you manage to... I did The first time I beat this, I beat this with a team of uh, mass-produced um, Jigans. Ooh, he's dead. Technically dead, buddy. Now, the point of this mission here is to kill the boss. Then you can go to the top path. Now, the top and bottom path in certain missions are the same. It just depends how well you do determines on where you go. 
Like this one, I beat it very well. I did, um... Now, the interval, yes. So, I'm gonna go top half. Here you have armor points, your fuel, and I believe... Um... Something else, I forgot. God damn it, I forget. I also have an extra pilot in case one of these two dumbasses die. Which will happen a lot on the much more... Higher difficulties of missions, I should say. Also, at this point, when it says custom cast, you can switch out all characters if you want, if they're too damaged. Which is actually the best idea when you get a higher ranking missions like I do. So the more um, teammates you have, the better it is. The easier it is not only to complete missions, but a better ship also. I'm trying to save up for the hell Argama. Oh, shit. I'm right under the ship. Get up. Yeah, like I said, beam saber spamming, melee spamming. There, it's a clock class. There we go. That's what I was trying to remember. Yeah, you can buy a lot of different classes of ship. I'm trying to save up for the hell Argama, although it's not the more the best ship. It's just that, you know, I've watched Double Zeta and I'm a big fan of the, you know, Air Federation ships. They always look better than the Xeons in a way. Don't get me wrong, the Musai still looks cool. The upside down Enterprise. It's an Enterprise flipped over. <laughs> What's my pilot skills? Oh, god damn it! Hold still, dumbass. Fuck, that guy got hit hard. Yeah, only you can heal them. They're not smart enough to go back to the ship and get healed. I'm not kidding. Oh, come on! Yeah, we're getting put down there. Now, if you take too long destroying those ships, both top classes, um, and destroy only the mobile suits, they're going to respawn mobile suits constantly. Well, not constantly. I think they have a limit to there. But they're going to respawn mobile suits. So your best bet right away is to destroy the, is to destroy the clock class or whatever ship is they're trying to protect. Now, you're noticing I'm targeting the turrets and all this. Uh, this is actually a good idea for two reasons. One, obviously less damage done to you. Second reason, it gives you extra points. Yes. This grants you extra points if you destroy those turrets and other things like that. The missile base and everything. So what you Defense Musa. Oh, shit, man, my team sucks today. I guess the LP first kicked in during this part. Come here, you! I'm trying to help you! There. Oh. Ah, shit. Now, how I flipped like that was, um... By pressing down on the... I think the dust stick for one of them. I believe it is the left dust stick. You'll flip automatically to do that. Now the Shinanju is just like the boss and the last is the boss for this one. Come here! Oh. Now if you lose a teammate, you obviously lose points. So try to keep your teammates alive. Oh, they have a double. Yeah, just call the double gun. I love that fucking thing. See, I killed him almost instantly. And I barely managed to damage him. I'm impressed that move, advanced move side class was taken out by our ship. Okay, by the way, your own ship may be powerful. You might have your own ship, but they are idiots. They can barely defend themselves. They, um... You have to constantly defend themselves, but the good thing about your ship is, like, is that you can get a resupply, and that's about it. That's the only reason it's here. A base of operations and resupply. That's it. That's all it's good for. The only thing I hate about the Delta Gundam is that it does, you can't use your um, beam rifle while in uh, fighter mode like the Rizel or the Zeta. 
And yes, I know about the download content of Zeta Gundam and all this. I just don't have any the, uh, the points for Jet. Any uh, PSN points from Japan. And I'm not paying $80 for a 50 point card. Even if it's emailed to me directly. I'm sorry. I, I love my games, but I'm not that desperate to play them. And there we go, we just won. He, he, he blew up. Usually we. Oh, come on. We fight at a stalemate. And this is a nice little ending. Um, if you still have your ship. This is the ending you get. If you don't, they mourn the loss of the ship, more or less. I really like the attention to detail on this part. It's really well done. Yeah, I have some Zeon soldiers also on the ship. I just took anyone that I can get at this time. I wanted to fill my ship up and just to see how it well went. Of course, within the hell argument, I'm going to put a lot more uh, popular characters and better captains and things like that to get more armor points, more fuel. And I think ammunition is the other one, to refill your ammunition. So, yeah, that's custom cast mode. As you can see, it's unicorn mode, but a way to extend the gameplay. But I think it's a well-deserved extension. It's fun, addicting as all hell because I've just managed to finally get all the way to number 7. And it gets harder and it gets a lot more complicated. You're going to need more pilots, obviously, in order to succeed the harder missions. A better ship, a better crew. So, yeah, this is a grind fest, but a fun grind fest. So, rank S, you'll get point, extra points for rank S, as you can see, 11,000 points. I usually get more than that. Hmm. Well, this person can end, so join me next time for the review.